ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another video of Eric and Nikki's duct tape wallets. Today I'm going to be showing you how to put pockets in your duct tape wallets. The first thing you're going to have to start off with is measure how long one side of your duct tape wallet is. This is about four inches, so you would cut a four inch strip and another four inch strip. So you flip one of the four inch strips over so that the sticky side is facing up and you stick the other piece of duct tape straight down over it. Now if you have any um, excess duct tape sticking out um, and you don't want it there you can just cut it off or you can fold it over. Um, for me it's just fine there right now. But so then what you would want to do is place it in your wallet if it overlaps a little if it's a little too big just trim off a little bit because then it'll be kind of like weird if you try to fold it over so just cut a little of that off place this back on matches fine so then what you would want to do is take this is about, this is two inches um, high, so you'd want to take a two inch strip for the side. I just have a strip that um, was pre-cut, it's not two inches, but that's fine, it doesn't have to be how long it is. So you can place that over halfway, place this on, and you go like this and you flip it over and you f can fold it over like that if you don't like this showing on the wallet you can cut it off right here so that that doesn't um, show or you could use whatever color in this case it was pink zebra you could use pink zebra for the sides this stuff down here you can just cut off and then take a two inch strip and cut the two inch strip just like so take your strip place it over just like that and I like to just trim off And up here, if you have any overlapping, same thing, you can trim that off. So then, you should have your duct tape credit card holder. It can hold um, a credit card, but you're not done yet. What you would want to do is to make sure um, that obviously this would need like a bottom because it would just be like that. So you would take a four inch strip of duct tape or however long one of your sides is. Cut that. And just place it halfway over the bottom. And then fold it over and also you can cut that or whatever um, it's not really a big problem for me but whatever you like so then I just like to crease it a little bit make sure it fits well and then you should have your duct tape pocket um it can hold any kind of like credit card or gift card or whatever you're using and so be sure to check out next Tuesday, next Thursday's video. If you don't know how to make a duct tape wallet, check out last Tuesday's video. 
last Thursday's video, I mean, to learn how to make a duct tape wallet. Thanks for watching. Bye.